Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back on the Exile lands in map square J5, building a Terranian Bastion. This is a small PvE base designed to fuse the Terranian and Stygian styles together. The requirements are on screen now. You could adapt this build so you don't need Stormglass Cathedral or the Terranian extension, but the pyramid set is almost essential for this design. So without further ado, let's get started. I started off with of course the base plate. I used pyramid foundations in the same fashion as shown on the blueprint a moment ago. I built a staircase section at the front and used pyramid ramps to smooth it in, and then used pyramid slanted walls to build up the exterior ground floor wall. This will not go all the way around, but will encompass a good section of the build to give it some shape. Where I cut the pyramid slants off, I'll then transition into regular pyramid walls. With the base of the walls done, I placed a 2x2 storm glass door at the front and constructed the interior walls to form the inner courtyard, including hanging some Terranian ceilings above. I then placed a secondary 2x2 storm glass door and filled in the gaps in the floor with pyramid foundations, finishing off this step by building the walls up two tiles high. Next, I moved up to the first floor. I finished off the Terranian ceilings in the inner courtyard and then used ceilings to begin on the first floor. I played around with the vaulted Terranian ceilings here, but in the end, I didn't think they really looked too good, so you could just use regular flat ceilings here if you'd prefer. On the first floor, I added Terranian arches to make covered balconies, made some adjustments to the courtyard ceilings, and fenced off the walkway with Terranian fences and crenellated walls. Back on the interior, I used Terranian walls to build up the first floor. I kept things pretty simple, tracing roughly the same shape of the walls, though simplifying it down to a T shape, as that will make the roof easier to create later on. I threw some windows in, placed the staircases in either side room and the ground floor, and then used Terranian ceilings to close everything off. Again, I did some more experimentation with the Terranian vaulted ceilings, but I do think flat ceilings are probably the best bet, as the vaulted ceilings don't really transition all too well into the flat ones. I then sectioned off side rooms on the first floor, alongside a walkway above the inner door. I had made some adjustments to the back wall, but ended up changing it back to the T-shape as it was before, as that will just work much better and make life much easier. I also added a room at the back end of the first floor, connected to the walkway above the interior door with ceilings. I sectioned that room off with door frames and fenced arches. Next, I built the walls up two tiles high on the first floor and began on the roof gables. The roof is going to be super simple, as that's all this build really needs. You could raise the intersection up by one tile, I think that would have looked quite nice, but this roof design turned out pretty good regardless. It's a simple open gable on each side, including the front of the intersection. I also added some decorative toppers to the side exclusion columns I'd left towards the back using arches and Terranian domed rooftop caps. With the gables all set up, the roof itself was pretty easy. I placed Terranian rooftop pieces atop the balconies and used regular Terranian roofing to connect all the gables together, including some triangular accents on the longer roof towards the back.
I finished off the roof by raising a 2x2 column of pyramid foundations to connect the material pallets back together, arched the top of the pyramid pieces, and added a large terrarium dome. I also overhung the roof at the front of the build by a single tile. I added a triangular buttress at the rear of the build, and also extended the pyramid walls around the build to meet the decorative pillar at the back. You don't have to do this, but I do think it flowed a lot better, and allowed for a small roof dome on either side of the build for that finishing touch. Lastly, I decided to extend the stairs out by one tile to finish off the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, the exterior is much the same, punctuated by torch lighting, wall decals and clan flags bearing a golden horse on a black circle. The inner courtyard is mostly decorative, holding some statues and also some planters for growing herbs. This area also has some nice verticality to the roof above. Inside the ground floor, the long room plays host to a litany of miscellaneous crafting stations that won't fit in the side rooms, alongside some other commonly used items like regular and cold storage, planters with common herbs, and a small wheel of pain too. The right side room is the wood and hide workshop, including a fair bit of storage. This is where you can tan hides and process leather, and also use wood for various crafting projects. The left side room is the metal workshop for all your armour, weapons and other crafting needs. I managed to fit two furnaces into this workshop, which helps with keeping the crafting flow fast and efficient. Above the metal workshop is the storage room, where I've built shelving to hold chests and other containers. For a small room, there's a good amount of storage space here. Above the main hall, the walkways here offer good verticality and connect to the backside room, which is an alchemy lab including fireball cauldrons and a large alchemist bench. The roof detail here is particularly nice, and improves vastly on what would have otherwise been a fairly bland roof interior. The final room on this floor is the bedroom. This base is designed for one or maybe two players, so this bedroom aims for comfort and luxury. I've included plentiful decoration, including battle pass art banners, storage, and a reading cubby with a decorative Aquilonian bookcase. Finally, out on the balcony, this space can be used to scout the surrounding area, and plays well with the courtyard below and the nearby environment. And there we have it, a small but strong Terranian bastion, built in map square J5 of the Exiled Lands. You already know, Terranian is one of my least used sets, but I must say, it pairs exceptionally well with the pyramid set, this is definitely a combo I would recommend. Thank you for watching, and of course, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I've gotta say, it's nice to finally get a Terranian build done that I'm quite happy with. I always struggle with this set, and I think this is a pretty good niche for it. 
Now I've just got to work out how to do something good with Keytan. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.